Hi everyone, I'm Danny. This is Big Bots, Little Bots, Arm Bots, and today we're trying to sort out an issue that's been plaguing me for about a week. But I finally resolved it, and I hope it resolves it for you too. Let's jump into it. Big Bots, Little Bots, Arm Bots. So, if you've got a HD60S by Elgato or a HD60X, basically, I've been trying to stream with it from my PS5 or Nintendo Switch and every time I go to do it, it works for a little while, sometimes a bit slow to start up and then playing all seems fine and then it just freezes. My camera's still working on OBS but the background is frozen and I'm playing Call of Duty. I haven't even noticed, very frustrating. Anyway, I've done everything, tried different ports, switched all cables around tried different cables, made sure all my USB power's on. But even without that, this solution might solve it on its own. So basically, on the back of your PC, you've obviously got these USB ports. So what you'll notice is on the motherboard, they're in their own little clusters, basically. So you've got two on that one, two on that one. So they are sharing the same power and data hub basically so everything's going through those so what happens with a capture card is because they're very demanding if you plug it into one that's sharing another port with something then it's gonna not get the either the power or the data transfer speeds it needs and that's why it basically crashes but all you need to do is find one of those hubs basically that's not shared with something else and my solution although it's not perfect in like cable management was i've gone in my front io here um and i've got no other usbs plugged in it at all now and it works fine now this works for other capture cards and it probably also will help if you've got a camera with a Elgato cam link, if you've got an Elgato face cam as well, because when I've been trying to find help for myself, I've noticed a lot of Elgato products for one reason or the other, and that's not saying it's just Elgato, that is just who I've been searching, but they seem to have quite a few problems with freezing so this has worked flawlessly since not had any problems so that's all i could see really the issue being i'm just quickly jumping from the editing room i've just added another two tips to help you along the way in case just plugging it in like i've just suggested doesn't work i'm going to give you two more screen recordings just to show you what to do with some power settings and hopefully once you've done all of that if you've still had problems that should resolve it let me know in the comments below if it doesn't or if it does if it does thumbs up please and subscribe to great thank you right so if we come to control panel hardware and sound power options edit plan settings or you can just type in edit power plan that brings this up so if you come to change advanced power settings you then get this little window pop up if you go to USB settings, um, USB selective suspend settings. So that's on balance, which is active. So it should be having high performance. So now when we come to USB settings, USB selective suspend setting is disabled. Now with that being disabled, that means your pulse can't turn off. Next, if we go back to control panel, go to hardware and sound, go to device manager, and this will pop up we come down to the usb hubs you can go through each one and on power management make sure that this one here is unticked and do that for all of your usb hubs so another thing you can do you come to control panel hardware and sound come to change what the power button does and then you have to click change settings that are currently unavailable here and turn off fast startup so that means your computer takes a little bit longer to start up but it means all your usb ports etc are reset each time so if you do change stuff around your computer doesn't assume that those usbs are the same etc so it can stop a lot of little 
problems that happen with your computer but just make sure this one is unticked and then save changes should stop anything from just going offline basically try it for yourself hope this has saved you a lot of headache because yeah like i said it's been driving me mad if it has been helpful please leave a like let me know and um yeah subscribe plenty of tech news updates and stuff coming in the future and unboxing of course i'm danny so big bots little bots unbox and thank you for watching see you in the next one bye bye big bots little bots <laughs>